Hello again, David Dimitri here in the Monkey Mallet's Monkey Cave. These are Monkey Mallet's bottle rockets. Let me get rid of the spikies. The bottle rockets model, uh, they just sort of reminded me of bottle rockets. They have the trademark Monkey Mallet, mallet pommel on the butt end of the handle. They're on a 14 inch shaft, which I think puts it about 14 and a half, 15 maybe inches for each mallet. This is a nitrile, which is a kind of rubber. This is a nitrile mallet head with a latex collar to give it a little bit of oomph for balance. These are rattan handles. The ones on eBay and on the website are birch. If you want to upgrade to rattan, please let me, let me know by email and I'll take care of that for you. Nice bright colors. The, the reason behind the colors is not just cosmetic, but in a lot of these pieces that, that percussionists, especially keyboard percussionists, are playing, you need that peripheral vision. You have to develop a peripheral vision so it's... And having that bright color there, like with the sluggers, the monkey mallet sluggers, they're white. Bright colors, I think, help define where that mallet is while you're playing. So let's get on. The bottle rockets are primarily a practice mallet. They can be used in performance situations where a lower volume is required. You don't want to have to cut through an entire orchestra. In fact, just a few weeks ago, I did use these, this particular pair, on a performance. Again, it was the uh, uh, Fight of the Bumblebee. And I think that it gave it sort of a, a nice flowing sound. And so it was a nice resonant sound. We did it on marimbas and there was one xylophone. So, uh, monkey mallet bottle rockets. Again, with the trademark monkey mallet pommel on the end, or bead. This is also plasticized, as is, as is the head. After we mount the mallet head and the collar, we plasticize them. A little bit of more durability. And if you want to even get more of a xylophone-y, sound when you're practicing, or that uh, C minor scale has just been getting to me lately. You can do that without worrying about denting your bars, or you can practice uh, bells. This is a little Janko vibes, but the narrow, narrow bars simulate, I think, uh, a decent set of orchestra bells. So we can do all this without keeping everybody up, without making a lot of noise. A, they're louder than the sluggers, but they're not quite as loud as a more traditional, this is an old style xylophone mallet, but you can hear that. Quite a, bit, quite a difference, and then again with the sluggers. But we're still getting a reduced volume, we're getting good speed, good action. I can't do anything about the accuracy. I wish I could, I'm working on it. We are working on mallets that will make even me sound good. Until that time, I think I'm going to stop the camera, stop the video, and go and practice with my monkey mallet bottle rockets. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it.